Hello, people. All right, so this is an update. I got my 3D printer, and I've been printing stuff out on it. I got a bunch of stuff here. All right. So um, this is the first video in like a month uh, after I got my 3D printer. I I made this thing, but uh, ever since then I've been designing and building and making lots of different things. And some of you know that I'm trying to make a special flashlight to. Um, yeah. I'm making a special little survival flashlight. And it has a winding thing on it. So I was able to find the thing that winds on eBay. It's this little thing. It has this thing on the back which has some uh, electromagnets on the inside some pickup coils they pick up the magnetic field uh, there's a ceramic magnet inside here that's what this this is right here is a ceramic magnet inside there and it goes past the coils and makes electricity and this is the main gear that uh, has this kind of hourglass looking shape on it here and here <laughs> and that's what you hook up to to uh, that's what you hook up to to uh, be able to turn this thing and so on my 3d printer I printed this out it has that same hourglass shape and a little hole in the middle for a screw all right so the it goes goes on there and it spins around it has this little radioactive symbol on here and what this is is that mates up to this thing see the screw hole the screw hole goes in the middle so it can hold itself on and this thing has these kind of arms that come up and has the pivots And I made this handle that has a little little handle thing on it with a screw that goes through it. I was able to print this all out on my 3D printer. And that goes on there, and then I put a little uh, 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 brass rod through it. Although, in reality, it would be like a screw or something like that. And uh, I was worried that this screw, the screw has threading all the way, all the way down it. I was worried that if you're, you know, doing this, uh, that the screw is going to chew up the plastic on the inside. So I made this big enough, the hole in here, big enough so that it can fit a... Uh, yeah, you see this? It's a uh, brass tubing, and <clears throat> it's just a little bit bigger than that screw, and so the screw fits in there perfectly. So it has a little brass insert inside there to keep the pla to keep the screw from chewing up the plastic. So it spins nicely. Okay, now uh, here we go. I'm gonna start putting things together. Oh yeah, and uh, I made this thing. It has screw holes here, here, and here that are spaced perfectly on this little board and this cutout hole right here that is spaced perfectly on this board to be able to hold all of this stuff. All right, well, let's see. Does it go that way? No, it goes this way. Okay. And that little thing fits perfectly right inside that hole. Okay, here I'm gonna screw these on real quick. It was amazing that I was able to make these stand off 
so perfect. I gotta make sure I don't tighten it too much. These standoffs are amazing. It's it just, they're so precise. Can I see that well enough? Barely. I zoom in a little more. Yeah, I 3D printed all of this stuff out. Oh, look at that. It's it's so perfect. It fits so perfect inside there. Uh, here, here we go, there we go. Let's see how that spins. It's it's amazing. There's like less than a millimeter of, uh, of space on all sides of this. Having a 3D printer is amazing because it makes precision repeatable pieces. Okay. up with this the bottom of the the handle pulley handle whatever all right there we go yeah if this wasn't black then it would be easier to see okay now I take a little screw a little a little flat top screw put it inside that little hole right there holds the bottom thing onto this top thing through this plastic piece so this this plastic piece keeps that piece held down against the gear and it's spaced so perfectly that, that it works and that little screw holds this to there and then the last thing is go all right so here it is I have a nice little handle that goes on here and spins this thing nicely it's nice and professional and precise it's freaking amazing I love this I love having a 3D printer, so this 3D printer is going to, uh, yeah, help me get my flashlight idea, uh, it's going to help me get my flashlight idea patented, so it's pretty awesome, so, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of an update of what I've been doing, uh, this past month, and, uh, and, uh, yeah, I've, uh, used a lot of plastic <laughs> thrown away a lot of things uh, okay yeah I guess I'll show you guys some other stuff later all right bye everybody thanks <laughs>